Good day everybody. I am so excited to do this pour. <laughs> I have been getting withdrawals uh, for a couple of weeks now. So um, the last video that I, hang on let me just calculate it. I need 120 milliliters for this so that's like 40 and yeah. So 40 of my part B. Um, I'm using um, 35, I'll tell you in a second, 40. Um, I'm using Aldax, uh, sorry, Crystal Cast. And this resin, I find, really, really, is very suitable for what I do. Because it gives me plenty of time to work with it. And, um, sorry. Oh, that's gone up a little bit, 130. Oh, so that's 10. Sorry, let me just figure it out. I'm going to add a little bit more of this one. This 129, so three. So I need to add three more mils to it. That's it. That'll do. Um, these <coughs> always give you a little bit of sort of give, so... If you go a little bit over or a little bit under, doesn't really matter. So it's all cool. Um, so I'll just stir now while I'm talking. Um, the reason why I haven't been doing videos for a couple of weeks is because uh, I have my own line of pigments. And I tell you what, it's not as easy as I thought because... Uh, I am kind of running this business on my own and there is so much work to to get these things started to start with um, so and of course I hand fill all these so I do all of these I don't have a machine or anything that does it so I fill them all by hand I design the the sticker for the front which gives you the information about the pigment and the safety on this side here and then how much it contains and and it's fda approved so you can use it on your with your fda approved resin and use it on your countertops tabletops um <clears throat> placemats things like that where you might put food on so they're super cool and they're all pearl pearlescent um, so they're great to mix with other pigments, other pastes and things like that, paints, so that you can get a really, really cool effect. And this resin is already mixed because it's quite warm here. I might just turn that air, air conditioner down a little bit and make it a little bit cooler because I think it's just a, a little bit too warm in here. Um, so here we go and I also have a couple of pastes um, I will be supplying some pastes as well so I'm gonna work with this beautiful thallo blue they're not available as yet because I want to get uh, a few more so that I can put them in the shop okay so they're ready oh I made a, a bit of a mistake and then always tap the lid okay guys so if anybody is interested in purchasing these I will put um, in the description under the video I will put the information where you can get them but if you are in America I do have a thing happening I've got a, a distributor in America who is kind enough to uh, to collect these orders and then ship them so what happens is people will order through me okay that's it's going in there I am using the turquoise blue okay people will order through me through the shop they will put in a code and the code will be Laura and I'm saying it openly on YouTube publicly because 
uh, you need to know that all of those orders will be shipped directly to Laura so there's no cheating or anything like that you will pay uh, me through PayPal this one I'm putting in is indigo beautiful beautiful pearlescent color so the orders will be put in through the shop and once you put in that uh, code I will know that I don't charge you any shipping I pay for the shipping uh, so that's my part I will uh, pay for the shipping for you guys and then uh, I will connect you with Laura who will then ship these to you and um, and you will only pay for the local shipping and um, also there's a lot of people in Canada who are interested in purchasing my my pigments and I think it's cheaper to ship from America so you can do the same thing but if anybody who lives in Canada is uh, interested in being a distributor please let me know um, I need to kind of get to know you and see if we can work something out but I trust Laura and I've just um, sent a huge um, box <coughs> which was 10 kilos would you believe it and I paid for all the shipping and then people when they receive it Laura will get get it all distributed to everybody so I need to trust that person and Laura I do trust so I've got my indigo in here and you've seen what I did there with the powder pigments please 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 always put put it in the cup first without resin and then pour a little bit of resin in there and then give it a nice swirl and see what I did I made sure that I covered all of that powder so I don't have any particles sticking up and flying in the air because <clears throat> don't really want to wear a respirator for this um, because I can't see what I'm doing and you wouldn't be able to understand what I'm saying because I sound like I'm, I'm speaking from a really really big deep barrel so um, I can use this as is there's quite a bit there it's still a little bit transparent but these a lot of these are transparent a lot of them are not um, solid colors so I'm just stirring this one up and then I will add some more of the resin to it so if you want <coughs> somebody has asked me to put on the on the um, on the stickers of the you know the pigments if, if the consistency of them the opacity and I didn't really do that because it's, it's, if you want, this is what I can tell you, if you want it to be more opaque, add more pigment. You can really go to town with these pigments, you can add a lot and make it more opaque, or you can add uh, small amounts of pigment and then you will get a more transparent look. Um, so it's, it's as simple as that okay so this is just gorgeous so I'm gonna add some more now to this and now I can stir it whichever way I want because I know that that pigment has been mixed in really well there's no um, grainy bits or anything like that they're really really good good pigments and as I have mentioned before in my video where I did a actual introduction to these pigments they are mica pigments or mica flakes rather that have been coated with some ferric um, oxides and these are minerals found in earth and uh, some of them uh, attract the light and some of them reflect the light so whichever way you kind of turn it it'll give you a different a different color and these are the pastes that I was talking about. Why is this? Oh, that's why it's leaking. The cup is cracked. That's not good, is it? Okay, let me just fix that. Okay, this cup was cracked and it was leaking 
resin all over my um, my plastic sheet there so that's my white that's a pure white epoxy pigment and here I have a phthalo blue so <clears throat> I've got a bit of a variety here just giving a good stir usually with pigment pastes what I do is I put the resin in first and then I drop the pigment on top of it the reason for that is because it's a bit tricky to get all the pigment from the, the bottom same with if you're using paints like acrylic paints or oil paints always put your resin in first and then pop in your, your color uh, over that resin into the resin uh, with the paste it's better to do it the, with the sorry um, with the powders it's better to do it the other way around because you don't want them flying around and they won't mix as good as well you want to make that paste first so that's why I'm kind of mixing this really really well to make sure I do that the reason why I had the cup the paste in there first is because I've got a big bucket of them and I didn't want to drag in here <clears throat> so I just did it that way but when you kind of have a small little container or small jar of it then you you know what to do so don't put your paste in first put them in last and with your powders put them in first so remember that one you're just going to save yourself a lot of um, mixing time I was just adding just in oh I need my alcohol wife what wife my alcohol wife <laughs> oh dear me and my angerish okay so here we go got them all ready this one is just going to be up whatever you know um, that's that's what it's going to be it's going to be for the newbies um, this video it's just going to be so simple and easy this is an MDF board okay it's 33 centimeters that way and it's about uh, four millimeters thick and always tape the bottom of it you're going to save yourself a lot of trouble I've leveled the table, but it's probably going to try and run off somewhere. I don't really care. I'm all about just expression. Just do what you're doing. But if you want to do a, a specific design, like sometimes I do, then you want to have it super, super leveled. Okay, let's go first with this indigo. Um, I'm just going to do a um, thrower. Okay, so here we go. There's my indigo. Okay, and then we're going to go with some of this gorgeous, gorgeous, did I say gorgeous? I think I did, um, but anyway, I'm going to say it again, this gorgeous, and here's what I mean when I say gorgeous, look at that, the pearl is just amazing. I just poured some resin in there without mixing it, okay, so it's going to be a little bit stringy, maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> So that's sort of sat the, here for a little while. And what I'm going to do now is I've got this turquoise blue, which I adore. It's one of my favorite colors. And I'm just going to go like this. Oh. Okay. Then I'm going to go with, oh my God, that is just so beautiful. So I don't know what's going to happen with this. I have no idea. So... I'm just going with it, you know, and I love working on the black background um, Just my thing so it's pulling over that way So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trick it and I'm going to go this way. Ha! Huh? So you got to pull that way now So if you can see in there you can see some clear bits, which is quite fine So you can see clear bits here. It just allows that black to come through so another pour on just a whoosh cut there okay and then I've got this beautiful 
phthalo blue, which is a paste. And it mixes really, really gorgeously well. And so set that aside and maybe go this way. And sit that there. So that indigo, it looks like a purple or a violet, but it turns into an indigo when it's mixed with resin. See? You will see. You will see. Okay. And then I've got a white, but I'm going to wait. Actually, I might just drizzle a little bit of white. And then I want to go with this clear. Don't know if there's going to be a, a um, what do you call it, a negative space or anything. Not sure. But, oh, so that's pulling that way now. We're going to turn it a little bit that way. And see this is already doing something it's just doing something within itself and it looks like it's got a million bubbles in there so I'm just gonna put some of this clear in some of these spots just put a drop there and a little line there a little line there <clears throat> I want to give a shout out shout out to a couple of people who have been super supportive um, and you know what I am so super humbled by 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 all of you um, and especially by people who contact me personally and just give me support it's just amazing I can't even tell you I, I, I tear up and everything <laughs> I'm like I'm just a small little you know, the thing, I'm, I'm, I'm no one really, and I get so much support. And then you're looking at life in general, and then I'm thinking about um, people in my life that I know and that I've been there for in their lives, and they kind of just decide to just go silent on you and not talk to you for weeks and months, and then you're thinking, okay. And then I have these people, you guys, who live half a planet away from me and I get all this wonderful support from all of you and um, I just I'm just in awe of all of you um, I just can't even express the um, the feeling that I get from that and I'm all about expression and feelings so this artwork obviously now I'm talking about it is going to be about my feelings towards you guys so I hope it turns out good because it's supposed to be a good thing you know um, a shout out to Lisa Harms she uh, is part of my Facebook group a lady that I've never met in person and uh, she's just such a wonderful wonderful support to me she actually contacts me and asks me how I'm doing <laughs> Um, as opposed to how, you know, what can I do with your pigments and, you know, how can I do this and what colours did you use in that piece of work and all that sort of stuff. Um, not that I mind those as well uh, either, but I'm just saying, you know. Um, Robin, I can't remember your last name. I know it sounds a bit Greekish, um, but you know who you are. I love you dearly and thank you as well. You are another person who is just so supportive and uh, talking to me like we mates and and genuinely interested in, in what I do and how I am. Um, <clears throat> Laura Brown Usher, she's been my huge support in the States with the pigments and just really helping me with a lot of things. Um, and I consider her being my mate once again never met her in person so there you go this is just something amazing um, another person Summer Lily um, just a gorgeous gorgeous lady who just contacted me and said that you know a lot of wonderful beautiful nice things and shared my art and my my uh, page and my you know YouTube and all that and I don't know any of these people personally I'm just so humbled by it I can't even explain 
how this affects me. It just makes me want to do more and more and more. Um, I just also want to give a shout out to somebody who does videos on YouTube. And their name, name of their channel is, um, oh God, what's the name of that channel? Uh, Art Till Death? I'm pretty sure it's Art Till Death. Sorry, I just can't remember all these names, but her name is Erica, and I can't remember the guy's name. But they create, sorry. Um, so they're, they're a couple and they create these amazing things and what they do is they also test different things and, and uh, you know um, try out different things and they work a lot with um, with spray paints and things like that. I have tried spray paints before and I made a hell of a mess but um, these guys just rock with that sort of stuff. So I will put uh, this, uh, their YouTube link in my description box so that you guys can go and have a look at their art if you're interested in doing this kind of art for, for all of you guys who are interested go and check them out they are just amazeballs I'm telling you and they're just so easy going you know and they this is what they do they create um, they create art and they also do other art as well. They don't just do resin art. They do all kinds of different um, creative stuff, which is um, just amazing. So go check them out. Please do. It's, it's always good to to do that sort of thing. Share share the art. Share, share the creativity. Learn from each other. And um, and just, um, you know, support each other. That's what it's all about. Also, I just wanted to say I have started uh, a new... A Facebook page it's called Lorez Expressions and it's going to be um, all about my pigments and the specials that I will do you know some special discounts and things like that so if you are interested in buying any um, and if you have already purchased some do post your art in there I would like to share your art so let's just do that and uh, keep keep it kind of um, happening Another thing is anybody who is not in my Facebook group, it is an amazing group. Um, so pop in, it's called Fluid Art Community with Susanna Danks and that's enough promo. <laughs> Let's see what I can do here. Another little torch. don't want to do too much to it this white just does something it just it stretches and I don't know if you can see that but I will bring you closer so that you can have a look where I go over with the clear and I haven't got any more clear left but when you go over with the clear you get that kind of depth I might just put a little dot here and you can kind of see that and when you do a line you get that sort of stretch I've got some more white left. Just want to stand up as I do and see what I'm doing. Wow, that's like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna add some more white just because I've got lots of it left. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Got white there, got white there, maybe a little bit more white just over here and just give it some. These pigments, I'm telling you, they do something underneath. It just looks like a tr trillion bubbles but it's not it's super flat so let's go let's get a little bit of white in there let's connect it to that one and connect it to this one I'm just going to leave a little bit in the cup just in case and I'm going to use my Oh dear. What's that door? Okay. So I'm just going to use my heat gun now. Low speed to start with, always. See? Oh, it's not plugged in. Give me a second. Am I might now. Okay. I'm on now. Sorry. 
Okay, low speed to start with. to high speed now try to move this white and now I'm just gonna watch and see what happens as it's pulling in it's it should be doing some stuff it's definitely doing here where I pull that across it looks like there's a height there but there's not it's all happening underneath which is pretty pretty cool Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit more with the heat gun. As it's pulling in, it's just creating some interesting things. And there's no leakage, which I love. It's nice and flat. Nothing's falling over. It's just pretty good the moment I, I don't mind that I don't mind, even mind that there but I love that that blue that fellow blue is just gorgeous it's all kind of um, doing something cool I've got a little bit of this white left and I think I might just um, add some more here just because I've got a little bit left you know And just do a line kind of thing I love my lines and I always like to add some lines see there where you have that break from one to the other that's where I'm gonna either put another pigment through there or I'm just gonna do a line because that just breaks it and makes it look interesting you know and I'm always looking for those kinds of things you don't have to like i'm saying art is art whatever you do is 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 cool as long as you are doing something but this is just my style and the way i like things to be and i like the brightness to brightness of things you know i like to have a uh, nice bright kind of uh, look and this is just a throw on like i said I've got some cells happening here, here, here. It's um, it's all happening, and I haven't really done much. You've seen how easy that was to do, and I could fiddle with it now. I can do some more. I can play some more, and I tend to always regret it when I do do that. So um, what I might just do is I might just go around with some more of this white, and just. Uh, do the similar thing that I've got there just to kind of complete that look that I have there um, this is going back to the days of uh, you know abstract work and realism where you kind of need to balance things out so that's just what I'm doing try doing these lines they really really um, create some interesting um, effects and see mixing that white with that blue it just creates uh, another color so you don't have to buy every color there is you know but uh, you can mix colors together and get some amazing colors happening okay so yeah, so now I'm fiddling, okay, somebody needs to um, smack me on the hand and say stop it, leave it alone. So, um, there you have it, it's just, um, sorry, got to do that. It just looked a bit, oh, it looks a bit like a fish. With the pins and, but it just looks un finished so I have to kind of finish it off and make something that looks like a, a, a prawn or what do you call a shrimp or something with the eye there it's kind of cool <coughs> you can see all kinds of things might just torch it a bit more torch or 
so it creates effect. Don't have your face anywhere near it when you're torching because all of that, all of those fumes are coming up and you're breathing them in. And guess what? I can't find one little bit of fluff on there and no hairs. So that's really interesting. That must be because I was talking about all you guys and I had really, really good energy. And you know, that's what happens. When you go to do a painting or anything you do in life, go in with a really, really positive kind of um, mind and, and, and good energy because that's what you are projecting onto whatever you are doing. And, um, and just be happy to do it. And that's what happens. You create some awesomeness. I've got some really cool ha things happening here. It's all happening. It's really not something that I do, but I just felt like doing it. And that's because of you guys. And I thank you very, very much. So I'm going to stop this video now. I'm not going to touch it anymore. But I will bring you down so that you can have a look. Um, so I love you all very, very much. And um, keep, keep, um, keep watching my videos. And uh, learn something if you can. And give me suggestions and ask questions as you have been doing. And I'm going to try and get to them. Um, for, you know, I'm going to try and get to every one of them. But I, I can't promise anything because I just haven't had a chance to do much in that sense. Um, because of all the orders that I've been getting and everything. But um, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys. Um, and thank you. That's all I can say. See, I get all muddled up. Okay, bye for now. Okay, here we go. It's not set yet. Um, but I just want to show you, check out this effect. Firstly, let me show you the actual surface. Can you see that surface? There's no bumpy bits. There's no nothing there. And it just looks like there is, but there's really not. This is that beautiful... Um, iridescent jade that you can see there there's some cells there um, this here is pretty awesome and I don't know let me see if I can zoom that in a little bit better oh here we go now you can see it a bit better check that out that's just a clear that I put over the top of the pigment and see what it's created and this camera is actually not even picking up the the beauty of it and how interesting it is. There's my fish, my crazy alien fish. Call it a ghost fish. Oh no, there's a little fly in here. Go away. So, okay, what's this here? Yeah, some really, really interesting things. Um, you can see lacing with that white. That was, see that? If I worked that a bit more, I would have got bigger lacing, but there you have it. Look at that. Look at that. That's that uh, white paste. Which is pretty, pretty awesome. Check that out. Okay, so here's some more, some more of that stuff going on. Alrighty, so that's that. I'm going to go and edit this video and try and make it as short as possible for you guys. But uh, I hope you liked it. And do leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Cheers everyone. Bye for now.